You do not want to buy the wrong charger when you get your 15 inch MacBook Air. It will be the difference between being able to do your work on the go, charging multiple things at once, and ensuring that you don't spend more money when you've already purchased your new laptop that comes with a charger in the first place. So I'm going to share exactly what one I got and why it could or could not be the best one for you. But before we get into that, the first thing I'm going to say is you have to get this laptop. This thing's making work a lot easier, especially with that 15 inch screen since I've upgraded from the 13 inch M1 Pro. But the one thing of course I was skeptical about was what charger I should choose so that I didn't have to go buy another one if I chose the wrong one. I swear all the review units on YouTube are getting sent the 35 watt charger which is the one that comes with two USB-C ports on the back of it and is a bit smaller than the 70 watt one. And in terms of what one I went for, I went for the 70 watt option because of a couple main reasons. Firstly though, this is definitely a lot smaller than the charger that came with my 13 inch M1 Pro. I thought it was gonna be the same, if not bigger for this laptop but I'm surprised by how light and actually compact this little thing is. Also, since I got the midnight color, it comes with this braided cable, which I reckon looks awesome. And in terms of not getting dirty when it's draped on floors and stuff, I think this is gonna last quite a long time. And it's definitely better than that rubber that you get on older chargers, like the one I had on my 13 inch. If you are super tight on space, the 35 watt one could be good for you. However, having the 70 watts allows you to charge in about an hour or just over an hour to 100% your laptop compared to taking probably all night with the smaller one. Another thing is that Apple doesn't really talk about this and actually surprised me and really made getting the 70 watt one a solid yes for me was that since there is two USB-C ports on the back of the smaller charger, so your laptop and your phone at the same time, or at least that's what it looks like. The thing is that if you plug two things into the charger, that means the watts is gonna be split between those two devices so that your laptop would get a quarter of what this gives it and your phone would get the other half of the smaller charger, if that makes sense. So around 15 watts each. Using that's gonna be pretty key if you're wanting to use that and not have another brick with you. And on top of that, if I actually wanted to charge my phone and stuff, I have two USB-C ports right here, which won't get put down to 15 watts and make things charge a lot slower. So technically, you're actually getting two more ports here if you just plug your iPhone cord into your laptop, if you need to charge that or anything else. And it's not gonna split the wattage and take forever to charge. So since I am traveling a lot, I'm definitely happy that I went for this option. It's definitely the best if you're wanting to get that quick charging. And again, having those other options to charge since you have the MagSafe for actually charging the laptop compared to other models which actually charge in the USB-C port. So it's kind of a win-win getting this one. The only thing is that say probably you had that much room left in your bag, then that's when you would have the 35 watt charger come in and be better. But all in all, I think the tiny bit of extra weight and what you're getting is definitely worth going for the 70 watt charger. It's small, looks good, charges things fast, and yeah, I just personally think it's the best option to go for, and I think it would probably be best for you as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out some more videos that I've made about the 15 inch ear on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.